Hi, so in this video, we're going to talk about managing the, the Ansible YAML files more efficiently so that it's easier to navigate through and um, edit things and basically just keep, keep things manageable. So the way that Ansible makes this easy is it allows you to organize things into directories and then it knows how to, to grab things out of directories. So what we're going to do is we're going to organize our tasks into what we're going to call roles. And so, for example, in this tutorial, we're going to have a like a, a setup web role. So in order to do that, we create the roles directory and then we're going to create roles slash and then the role name. So we're going to call this setup web. And then in setup web, we need a tasks directory and we need a handlers directory because we have both tasks and handlers for this role as we established in the last video. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to make a tasks slash main dot yaml as well as a handlers slash main dot yaml handlers slash main dot yaml and then we're going to edit the tasks main.yaml as well as the install. So here we're going to copy all of our tasks into this file, and this is the main.yaml file. So this is going to contain all of the tasks for setting up web. So currently we only have install Apache. As you can imagine, you might have a bunch more like uh, install web app, install um, install whatever. You might you might need PHP. You might need a MySQL server, although that might sort of reach into another role, you might want to keep put that in its own role of like set up a, a database. So we've moved our tasks. So I'm going to remove the tasks and then we're going to edit the handler main.yaml as well as install.yaml and then we're going to move our handler in there. So I'm just going to copy this over to the other file. Okay, cool. So now we have our handlers and our tasks in their own files, in their own main.yaml file. And now for our install.yaml, instead of um, defining tasks and, and handlers here, what we're going to define it as is we're going to define a role, and it's just going to be the setup web role. And you'll notice that that setup web is the same as the setup web that we defined here. So this directory name is the name of your role. And so now if we run Ansible playbook install.yaml, it's going to do the same thing that we did in the last video, except now our code is much more organized and much easier to work with because Whenever we want to work with a handler, we don't have to look for the handler in the file. We know exactly where the handlers are. They're all in their own file. We just go to that file and then we can search for the, the code that we're looking for. This is particularly useful um, when you have a lot more servers. In this case, it's not that big of a deal, right? Because we had maybe less than 20 lines of code in our install.yaml. But as you can probably imagine, if you run a big website, if you're, you know, if you're Amazon or YouTube or Facebook or Google or whatever, you run thousands of servers, maybe tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe millions, who knows. Um, but managing that all in one file would be insane. You would have probably thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of lines of YAML in a single file. And just opening that in your text editor would suck, right? So what you do is you organize it more efficiently and it becomes much more manageable because now you have a bunch of smaller bite-sized um, files to work with instead of one massive one. And in order to prove that it does the same thing as it did before, I can run the uninstall.yaml um, so that our handler will trigger. And then I can run install.yaml again and it will run our role so it runs the setup web role and it's telling us the task that I'm running is from the setup web role and the task name is install Apache and then for this it says it's running the handler and it's for the setup web role and it's in 
uh, it's named replace index.html. There are a couple important things that I want to note here. So we can have multiple roles here. We just name different directories. And then for each role, we need a directory for what we have. So if we don't have any handlers, then we don't need the handlers directory. But if we have tasks, which a role without tasks wouldn't be very useful. Um, if we have tasks, then we need the tasks directory. And for each of these, you have a main.yaml. And that's just how Ansible works. It knows to look for the main.yaml in the tasks directory because that's where all the tasks are. And then if you want to split your tasks into multiple files, what you can do is you can include the other files in your main.yaml. But that's a little out of the scope of what we're doing right now. It's not too important to know about, so don't worry about it. But those are the main things that I wanted to cover in this video. Um, this is a really great way to organize things. It's really important to be able to organize your code efficiently so that you can work with it efficiently and you're not wasting time. So. Thanks, join me next time.